Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the Little Soil Shazam and welcome back to my kitchen. Here are what we're gonna need for our beignet, if I should say puff puff today. That is the yeast fast rising, fast acting yeast that I am mixing with some water. I like to mix mine with some water and kind of sit it aside. And as you can notice, I was kind of struggling, struggling with the spoon so I decided to just mix it with my fingers. Don't hurt. That is sugar. I use canned sugar and that is salt. Um, I'm going to list the ingredient and everything in the description box so you can know what you're using. So that is flour, sugar, and salt. Dry ingredient mixed it. So I transfer it to the pot because that's where I'm going to have everything like set aside now. I'm adding water. Now there's a trick in making uh, puff puff. So there's no like, specific amount of water that you can put in it's just, it's just the consistency that matters so as you can see i put some water in and i'm mixing as i'm mixing i also add now the uh the yeast like i say this is the fast uh fast rising yeast so that's what i'm using so i'm mixing the whole thing together the whole mixture from the wet to the dry ingredients together and now this is the best part of <laughs> puff puff. You have to beat the batter, beat it so much that it starts to have a consistency. As you can see, the consistency is not right. When you raise it the way I just raised it, and it's just split that way, it's just not right. So now you have to literally just like beat it, continue beating the batter until you see how the consistency looks kind of like that i'm not sure how to describe that but that's just how i know that that's the right consistency it's not too dry it's not too wet it's just perfect so as you can see it's kind of like pulling that way it's not too watery either you know so that's that's just okay <laughs> i'm a little ghetto okay leave me alone i didn't have a plastic you know the regular plastics so i just use a groceries bag so I'm going to sit that aside actually I had it sit aside and let it rise and it did for like an hour an hour and a half and now I am frying my puff puff if you're new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by thank you for just taking the time to visit my channel while you're here don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel so this is the way we usually like do it back home that's how we do it with our hands so i still kept the <laughs> my traditional ways when i'm cooking so that's how we split it but if you're not comfortable doing it that way you can always use a spoon that's my daughter yeah she always pops in in my videos anyway so you can see it's getting golden brown and really nice and just yes kind of ready to be like out out so yeah i'm giving myself a hard time Per usual why am i doing this when i can just raise the whole there you, there you go you listen you gotta keep learning as you go <laughs> so anyway so yeah i am moving to the next batch and yeah that's how you do it just it's just like that yep just like that so yeah i mean this is how you make puff puff they're very simple to make very fun to make i mean they're very easy so and um yeah
Yeah, as you can see, I'm moving some of the puff puff aside so I can add more in. So you don't have to just like wait the whole time. You can just, you don't have to wait like to like fry like one by one pretty much, you know. You can fill up the container and voila, it's all done, looking good. Just need a little bit of, you can eat it this way or you can add some sugar, regular sugar. Here I'm adding powdered sugar. I like powdered sugar, that's what I use for my puff puff but sometimes I just eat them plain but if any other way you want to eat it that's up to you but here's the final product and it looks good trust me it tasted so good so anyway don't forget to like share comment I want to know what you think see you next time